let's continue our discussion on phonetics a uh, morning i told you phonetics is a branch of english language that deals with the sounds of vowels and consonants so as i had already told you all most of these sanskrit based languages in india right when we learn a language like hindi for example we start with the vowels and the consonants the letters that we that are used for vowels and the letters that are used for consonants and the sound we are learning it together so in my class today i'm going to teach you all the vowel sounds okay how to write it what symbol is used along with that how it sounds we are going to say it aloud mon of tongs are sounds which has just one sound diphthongs is a combination of two sounds and under mon of tongs you have two types short vowel and long vowel so when you see the script written for mon of tongs and diphthongs and long and short vowels you'll find that colon is used to depict a long vowel and wherever you find short vowel there is just one symbol used and wherever you find diphthongs two symbols are used okay so i'm going to teach phonetics in a different way i'm going to take the five vowels a e i o u i'm going to start with letter a and i'm going to teach you all how the sounds of letter a are said or pronounced so look at this table students i have divided this table into three parts the first row is actually the sound of letter a in english written in devanagari symbol the second row are the words or spellings that has that sound in those in that particular pronunciation and the third row displays how you are supposed to write vowels in english or the script or the symbols used to describe that sound so as you can see letter a has five different types of sounds okay so let's start with the first one take words about ago and around when i say about ago around the sound that i can hear is a monophthong short vowel that is a uh. it's called as a uh. about a uh. about a uh. about it's a uh. right now take the second uh, sound second sound is a uh, sound okay but it is we don't say a uh. as you can see the letter a uh, is followed by a colon so this is an example of a long vowel the first one is a uh, second one is a uh. we say a uh. okay like you can hear the sound in words like ask or arms art so the sound that you can hear is a uh. then let's take the third one the words like apple and ant or ample the sound that you hear is a ah, right so in devanagari i can see it's a ah is written like this and a ah is also a short vowel it's not a diphthong it has just one sound that is a ah. if you look at the next sound that is diphthong in hindi you can say it's a combination of a and a okay let's take example air hair or layer so the sound that you can hear in these three words are a a and it's written like this a and a also note that these symbols should be written within two forward slashes you can see that there's a forward slash here and here this is the notation used in english and the last one you can see words like all although alter the sound is a and it's a long vowel so wherever you find colon it, you have to drag it a and wherever there is short vowel you have to j just just utter it just once as short as possible 
and wherever there is diphthong you can hear two sounds now i want you to repeat after me the sounds of letter a what you need to do is concentrate on the sound and simultaneously look at the symbol used in the last row not the first row okay so i'm going to start now so you need to i'm going to say all five uh, symbols and then you need to repeat a a a a o a a a a o a a a a o what you can do is you can use a rhythm so it's very easy to grasp a song because it has rhythm so i'll give you a rhythm you need to follow that so i'll say all the five sounds in a rhythm and then you need to follow me I don't say one by one i'll complete all the five it's like this it goes like this a a a a o say a a a a o a a a a o wonderful so this is how the sounds of letter a sounds like next now let's come to the letter e letter e also has five sounds as you can see the first one is a long vowel second is a diphthong third is again a long vowel this is a short vowel and again this is a diphthong as you can see wherever there is diphthong there are two sounds or two symbols and wherever there is a long vowel you can see colon and wherever there is a short vowel there's just one symbol so let's look at the words earn and earl and earth so this is also a but it is long vowel so you have to say a say a what's the sound a say very good now look at the second one it has ear or example here ear the sound that you can hear in these words is e and a uh, ear okay so repeat after me ear 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 very good now look at the third examples eat eagle and east now the sound that you can hear is again a long vowel because it has a colon and you have to say e say e e e very good now look at the examples like egg and elephant the sound that you can hear is eh it's a short vowel when you are saying a short vowel you have to say it as short as possible and most of the time the air flows from the throat and it we just push it once eh 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 very good let's take the next uh word or the sound that is a diphthong and has two sounds like for example when i say eight wait or wail the sound is a the sound is a so say a a a exactly so now uh, students we shall say them uh, together okay a uh, e yeah. E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E Got it? So the rhythm is like this. Don't say. Let me finish it. E E E E E E E E E
वेरी गुड अ ई ए ए रिपीट वंस अगेन एक्सलेंट लेट्स गो टू द नेक्स्ट वॉल now this is very simple letter i has just two vowels one is a short vowel and the second one is a diphthong so look at words ink l n it's i say i i see whenever you are using short vowel i said push the air out push the air out i i i i now what is i diphthong in words like ice and bike and dice you can hear two sounds associated with letter i so it's i i i i i i i i so the rhythm goes like this i i i i say excellent so two more vowels to go letter o the vowel o has four sounds right let's take the word out doubt loud so when i utter these words i can hear a and u together so it sounds au say au 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 very good now take words like own and bold and sound here the sound is a and u not a it's a and u so it sounds like this au 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 so both au and au are diphthongs there we say a and u here we say a and u now look at the words like ox and ot and off can you tell me what is this short vowel so short vowel push the air from your throat it's o oh, o oh, o oh, o oh. very good and now finally we have another diphthong right so this words like oil and soil and boil the sound that you can hear is oi 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 okay now let's say all the sounds of letter o au au o oi au au o oi au au Oh, oi! Very good. Now, can you say it without my assistance? Start. Repeat. 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 Very good. Finally, we are to the last vowel that is letter U. which has again four sounds letter u has four sounds the first one is a short vowel second diphthong third is short vowel and last one is a long vowel so look at the words up umbrella undo the sound is a a a a very good and the second sound is for the words like tua shua lua the sound that you can hear is u and a uh. so say ua 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 very good now look at the third again it's a short vowel and words like put took and foot the sound is u u u u very good and then finally you have a long vowel for words like use and university and fuse the sound that you hear is oo say oo 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 
very good so let's say it together ah uh, wa u u ah wa u u ah wa u u very good so let's repeat all the 20 vowels one by one slowly without making hurry so take me take to the previous slide letter a once again from letter a letter a yeah okay fine so we'll start saying this again okay in a rhythm i will say first then you repeat i'll say all five first and then you repeat a a a a o a a a a o a a a a o a a a o a a e e a a i'll say all and then you have to repeat a uh, i'll say all a uh, e a don't repeat i'll just say all five and then you say a e a e a a a e a e a a a e a e a a say two to two to three times without my assistance very good next now this has just two sounds e i e i e i e i next now i will say all five and then you need to repeat don't repeat after me okay a u a u o o i a u a u o o i a u a u o o i a u a u o o i perfect next now i'll say all five listen to it carefully and then you repeat a u a u u a u a u u a u a u u a u a u u so let us say all the 20 vowels together okay a a a a o a i a i e a i a i a u a u o o i and last is a w u u can you say all without my assistance right from letter a don't be in a hurry slowly please start a a o a i a e a 
ए इ आर आउ औ ओ और अ उ उ उ वंस अगेन अ आ ए ओ अ इ इ ए ए इ आर आउ औ ओ और अ उ उ उ वंस अगेन अ अ आ ए ओ अ इ इ ए ए इ आर आउ औ ओ और अ उ उ उ एक्सेलेंट so out of all this 20 vowels you must know how many short vowels are there how many long vowels are there and how many diphthongs are there so how many diphthongs are there eight how many short vowels are there seven and how many long vowels are there five excellent so this is all about the sounds in english related to vowels thank you very much